Wonderful to have trainer Dean Canemayer on the line with us to talk about his runners for Boxing Day at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the Turf. Dean, all the way from Cape Town, good day to you and how are you? Morning, uh, morning Warren. Uh, all good, thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Lovely, thank you for your time as always. Let's kick off with your runners so we don't uh, keep you uh, away from your chores too long. Favour in the fourth race, the Mambo in Seattle. How wonderful to see him bounce right back to winning ways last time. Yes, uh, we gave him a break. Uh, you know, a few issues you know, that uh, he did bleed and uh, we arrested him for three months and uh, touch woods come back and he's never shown any symptoms again. And uh, yeah, it was a very good win last time uh, and uh, over 2,000 metres. Uh, quite, a, quite a tricky uh, pinnacle stakes, quite a difficult race that he's in. But uh, I must say he's doing well and he's a journey and also never runs a bad race. Dean, your second runner is Track Attack, the dynasty. We've spoken at length about him. And he's been holding his form barring that last performance. Any, any feedback about that poor last run? Yeah, I think his last run uh, was very disappointing. But uh, we trotted him out the next morning. He was a bit short behind. And we've been giving a lot, doing a lot of physio work on him behind. And uh, he seems to be moving nice and freely. Um, you know, if you look at his other races, uh, he never, he, he's always there, you know, length of him. He's won one, two in a row, and he just got beat, and uh, he's performed well on the grass, and he's performed well on the poly track, so we're on the grass on Saturday, and, um, but he's a horse that you know, you've always got to respect and include. Your third runner, Dees, uh, no, uh, Dean, my apologies, not Dees, <laughs> Dean is Mount Anderson, um, <laughs> never too far off the action, uh, with a light weight, he could make his presence felt. How's he doing back home? Well, I'd say he's got a light weight, 52 plus half. Might need to keep him Christmas Day and the right 52 the next day. It's not going to be easy, but he's got a light 52 plus half. Um, Mount Anderson, he's a horse that uh, journey and horse and never runs a bad race. And uh, you know, one or two runs, may run him a little too close, uh, but we're pushing him up and he's doing well. Um, also, I think uh, uh, the Christmas handicap is a, is a very open handicap, a very competitive race. But uh, he's also puts his best with 40s. You know, he's got to be a competitive runner. Your last runner is Peace on the Rocks, which was up in Gauteng with Mike de Kock, and they've relocated this horse down to the coast. Yeah. yeah. Fair Gauteng uh, form. How's, how's, how's she doing, Dean, since she's moved well, to the coast? Th this, this is just something that's just come through now. Uh, unfortunately, I just left a message on the group chat that she's going to be scratched. Okay, so 10 pieces of the rock. Yeah, so she's, yeah, she's coming out. Okay, all right. Well, there we go. So it'll be just the three runners for the Canamea team come Saturday. Thanks, Dean. And well, thanks for your feedback and thanks for your contribution. We wish you and your family and friends and your patrons all the very best for the festive season. And as Graham said in the studio a moment ago, the most important thing is to stay clean, safe and sanitized. Thanks, uh, Warren, and all the best to everyone on the team. All the best. Cheers, Dean.